Lesson 10.3a, Generating a Random Sample Using Technology. We can generate random samples by rolling number cubes, you know, dice. We can also generate random samples by using technology. We can use a graphing calculator, also known as a scientific calculator. Random integers can be generated to simulate a random sample. So let's say we want to simulate choosing 30 people, or 30 numbers, at random from among 300 people. Here's a Texas Instrument TI-83 Plus calculator. That's what we're going to be using. The first thing we do is turn it on. Here's the on button. Then we push the math button. That's right there. Then we're going to scroll right and select PRB. So we can use this button right here. We're going to have some choices and we're going to scroll to PRB that's going to be on the right side there. Then we're going to see a list of options come up. And if we choose number five, we can either do that by pushing this button and scrolling down or by just hitting five and it'll go to that fifth option and we hit enter. Now we put in the least value, so that would be one. Then we hit comma, which is right here. And then we put in 300, 300. And we can hit the close parentheses. In this case, we enter one comma 300 because there are 300 people in the population. And remember, we're gonna try to get 30 random numbers for 30 people. We hit enter for each in the random sample. So in this case, we're going to hit enter 30 times. We have to hit this for each random number we want. And the random numbers will appear on the right side of the screen over here. So let me show you. The first thing we're going to do is turn it on, pushing this button here. We can see the cursor. We know it's on. Then we're going to hit math, which is right here. And you'll see our choices at the top, we want to get to PRB. So we're going to scroll to the right to get to the PRB, and there's choice five, the ran int open parentheses. So we can either hit five or we can scroll down. But you can see our cursor is now on the right hand side of that parentheses. We have ran int open parentheses, and now we have the cursor. So now we can put in our lowest number one, then we hit the comma, which is right here, and our greatest number, 300. And we can hit close parentheses right there. Now, every time I hit enter, I'm going to get a random number. We can do five. I don't want to have to do 30 for you. But if I hit this enter button 30 times, I'll get 30 random numbers. So here's five. One, two, three, four, five. That gave me five random numbers between one and 300. When a calculator generates random samples, the same number may appear more than once. So when those random numbers appeared on the right side of the screen, we might get a duplicate. Every number in the selected range of values has the same chance of appearing every time a number is generated. So we may push enter and get 126, push enter again, get 250, push enter again, and get 126 again. Randomly generated numbers may or may not be distributed evenly within the given range. They can repeat and can include any number in the given range. Another possibility for the ran int command is ran int, you're going to see the open parentheses, and we're going to have values of x, y, z, where x is the smallest value, so that would be 1, y is the largest value, so in this case it would be 300, and z is the quantity of random integers generated. So we would put 30 if we had least, greatest, and 30 random numbers. So let's generate five. We press math like we did before. We scroll to the right to the PRB. We select five for the ran int open parentheses by pressing five or scrolling down. And then we key in, we put in one comma three zero zero comma five for the five random numbers, close parentheses, and hit enter. That'll give us our x, y, z values with commas between them. These generated random integers can be used to represent populations to make predictions. And there's several different graphing calculators on the market. Some may have a similar name for the randint function for random integer that we have used. 
Check the owner's manual and it should tell you how to find a random integer. This video was on the TI-83 Plus, which is a very typical calculator used in schools. All right, we finished 10.3a. We're going to move on to 10.3b, which is generating a random sample without technology. So as I said, each calculator is different. Check your owner's manual to find out how to make a random integer. Have a great day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.